How, how do you follow people in the Dutch league uh, from Italy where you're working and it's impossible to travel to Holland under no, normal circumstances? Uh, talking, texting and watching the game each Monday. <laughs> okay. Um, no, mo for, for me, the Monday is a Dutch moment. <laughs> it's a Dutch time. It's just on the Dutch time. Okay. Um, well, uh, first, Croatia. Um, they're already qualified. Uh, I saw they have a lot of players uh, not in their squad, which are, uh, in, in essence, uh, starters. Um, how do you look at them? They have the core of the team here. They switch just with a, a point guard and involve uh, with talented young player. Uh, they play to for the first place. They play to beat. They play to win always. So, um, what a change that maybe um, having our future in our hands, we have a push out them of the game. Because though um, I feel uh, that the Croatian will play the good window and I want to play the good window to keep the first place to go on the final, like first. Um, the Swedish, uh, it's an next opponent on Monday. Um, they missed some players, but they have Jurepko back uh, and another inside player from the Spain ACB. Um, they're probably tougher than the last time. Absolutely. I agree with you. First off on the, mm, the front court and uh, they have a new player with a great experience, good skills, they can really open the floor with their bigs and the power forward. Um, will be one tough game. Um, Absolutely. We know the strengths of the Dutch team. Uh, at rebounding, athletic, transition, they're great in that. Uh, but Croatia will try to avoid the, that game. Uh, how do you anticipate uh, the game against Croatia from your own perspective? It's most important for us be aggressive on the ball and deny uh, how they share the ball on the, from the three points line and a post stop, first of all. Um, in my opinion, one national team have to do one style of play. And if the question is uh, the Dutch team, which is the style of the floor? Uh, I want to play humble with a defense aggressive uh, from the transition to half court with the ball to try to deny each first passes and a great job on a box out challenge. At the opposite, on offense, the first point is a ball sharing. We have to play the ball less in the low post, the more moving, the play dynamically, because we have a guard that can drive and dish and arc tag the rim um, with a better and better collaboration now. Uh, this is the two points. Against Croatia will be very important, our physical job, our impact, and our post-up defense. Um, it, it's hard to look forward for game first, but uh, did you bring a calculator to Istanbul? What? A calculator. Did you bring a calculator? Uh, yes, Istanbul? yes. But just yes. in case? Yes, absolutely. So, but, uh, so I think that um, exactly... For the first reason, we have the future in our hand. We have to think that we have one wing to go to the final. Uh, everything did for this game. The first win, the second win, the different score. Nothing is important. Just all in 40 minutes. Uh, there's also a situation because you play Saturday at 6 o'clock. There's a game at 3 o'clock. Could you believe Turkey loses against Sweden? Could it be possible in Istanbul? Maybe, maybe some, some of my players will be happy in this case, but so I put focus in the game, it's just in the game. So we know sure that if we win, we go. This is the only one information that we have. Yeah, but it, it could be a strange situation when you arrive at the, the Besiktas Stadium that Sweden is ahead and, and they beat Turkey. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, final question. Uh, what do you dream about these days? Go to the final. Uh, play better and better. I start from this team and collaborator and a lot of player in uh, July 2019. And we'll be great in one year and a half having players on the floor, new players on the floor, old Dutch player involving, collegian player involving, and one finals. We'll be great. Thank you very much. Thank you too, Liam. Nice day.